everybody. Welcome to the Playing With Power podcast, brought to you live. This is your host, Ben, and with me as always is my co-host, Mike. Hello. And you joined us for a very special live broadcast of the Playing With Power podcast. And normally we do an issue of issue retrospective, but tonight we are doing the Nintendo Switch presentation of January 12th, 2017. And unfortunately, John was unable to make it tonight. He randomly came down with a case of the whooping cough or something and uh, is unable to speak. So uh, we are trying out this live business for the very first time tonight. And, app- and apparently he's unable to type, too. So you won't he's, be seeing him in the chat. He's also unable to answer my text messages, uh, despite, <laughs> despite me desperately wanting him to come on here and tell us if this stuff is working or not. So, also, fingers crossed, uh, we don't get a DCMA notice uh, partway through the show for rebroadcasting hey, existing events. <laughs> if we have a lawyer listening, yay! Oh, if we have a lawyer listening, yay! Great. So, <clears throat> what are you looking forward to here, Mike? What's This is about to start in about a minute here. Oh, what am I... Oh, I got a message from John. <laughs> Apparently, it's getting worse. Oh. <laughs> it's getting yeah, worse. Well, All right, so it looks like they're about to start here. I'm seeing a DJ on the booth here, starting to wind oh, yes. things down. The trance yeah. music is DJ is, Dead to oh. Mousu. Oh wait, what do we call him? DJ DJ Dead Tanuki. Dead to Tanuki. Dead to Mouse. <laughs> All right, so now I'm looking at a. Uh, Lasers, 50, like it's oh, uh, countdown 56, 55, 54, 53. You're seeing, oh, 51. Damn it, you're ahead of me. I'm seeing it like three seconds delayed. <laughs> 46, 45. It's because I'm hosting the stream. 43, meaning of life. 41, <laughs> 48, 47, 46. <laughs> Shit. I'm screwed. This is what happens when you choose, you, you change your region to Canada. You got faster <laughs> than me, bastard. <laughs> We pay way oh, too much man. for the internet, but it's slightly faster than American. Thank you, Peter, by the way, for joining us for this. Our one and only, our one and only list watcher, listener on this. <laughs> our true blue mega fan. That's right. Our tonight's uh, broadcast is brought to you by Angry Orchard Hard Cidal, and by brought to you, I mean I hope I get some free beverages out of this. Oh, here we shit. go. Ten, nine, two, one, eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Oh, here we go. Oh shit! And I just found out because of the countdown, our our, our thing is twenty minutes behind. Twenty seconds behind. Not. Yes, twenty seconds. Oh my god! Now it's breaking up. This massive rave going on. All these Japanese people are just sitting there, calm, doing nothing. These people are fucking boring. They're waiting for the karaoke to start. What is all this music? Where is my microphone? I want to tell everyone how I cannot stop believing. Right. Hello. What's all press in there? I'm Tatsumi Kimishima huh? from Nintendo. Tatsumi. I was gonna say that's not the guy's Thank voice. You very much to all of you who have joined us here today. <laughs> oh my God, we're watching a bad Godzilla dub. And thank you to everyone viewing the presentation live <laughs> online. <laughs> Many people around the world watched the Nintendo Switch video we released in October of last year. The LBS. And reacted quite. Positively, <laughs> except for the people who didn't like the uh, the annoying hipsters. <laughs> this video introduced the Nintendo Switch console, Nintendo Switch dock, Joy-Con grip, and two Joy-Con controllers, as well as the Pro controller. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nintendo Switch is a console that can be played while connected to your television. <laughs> Oh, pardon There's me. There's also a system you can bring with you to share the fun wherever you go. Wherever you go, Nintendo including rooftops. Is a brand new kind of home <laughs> gaming system. In the middle of sunlight. A diversity <laughs> of play styles. All right, we're seeing the same video we saw from the advertisement. Skyrim. In today's presentation. A game that isn't even we like, being ported yet. We intend to a detailed introduction to the Nintendo Switch hardware and software. Like All right, so now we're just looking at a slideshow. Nintendo Switch launch date, suggested retail price, oh. yeah. and online services. 
Oh, they're not going to give it to us yet. Nintendo what a Switch tease. We'll release simultaneously oh. on March 3rd. March 3rd. March 3rd. Woo. The US, Canada. That's like a month and a half away. European countries. Hot Hong dog. It's pretty soon. Territories. That's a lot sooner than I thought it was going to be. This is the suggested retail price. I hope a good launch lineup. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> In Japan, get right down to it. It will be twenty nine thousand nine hundred and eighty yen. Hmm. Cost of half a stripper. <laughs> In North America, it will be two hundred and three hundred dollars. Three hundred bucks. Awesome. That's that's reasonable. That's about what they figured. For the it, hope people Europe, hope more two fifty. But please check with your local retailer. Well, so. apparently Peter believes that uh, pre orders start tomorrow. Next, I have information. Yeah, about they do. Nintendo Switch. Online services. Oh, now we talk about online services. Online service. service. With okay. Switch, Friend codes. You will, of course, be able Yay. to do online multiplayer gaming. Yay. And when you use a smart device application that will connect to Nintendo Switch, you'll be able to invite friends to play online, set play appointments, and chat with friends while enjoying online matches and compatible games, mm. all from your smart device. Using a friend code. Users will be able to try out Nintendo Switch online services for free during a trial period after will launch. They? Uh, then I don't like the sound it will of this. become a paid service trial beginning period. in the fall of 2017. Oh, no. And then paid in the fall. Oh, no, no. We will no, provide no. additional details on this paid service and its features on our homepage <sighs> at a later date. I see. And They're coming free I games. have an additional piece of information. With our past systems, like Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, we designed them using hmm? region locking, which limited play to software sold locking. in the same region awesome. that the hardware was purchased. Really? Because it looks like they're bra- it looks like they're bragging about implementing it. No but way. With Nintendo Switch, we have revised our oh. approach and decided that in general Yay. we will not apply region locking Sweet. to Nintendo Switch. No region open. locking. Yeah, it makes sense. Here, I would like to this switch sense, over you know? to the man responsible for all software development for Nintendo Switch and mobile applications. Mr. Shinya Takahashi. Watch, like, John walks on stage. <laughs> We're like, oh my god, he's That's Japanese he's the whole time. Good afternoon, everyone. No, no, it turns I'm out he's not, he's just squinting. And I lead all Nintendo software. Hello! Oh, fuck, John, no, please, no. Nintendo Switch no. has inherited DNA from each of the many hardware systems Nintendo has released today. Mm. Ah, uh, let's review a nice slideshow through time. Base system. Game Boy Remember Boy when we had the Game Boy? The home. <laughs> Remember Super that? NES. You liked Remember? that, didn't you? The Remember X-Y the Super Nintendo? The you really need to watch South Park, because the I member bears are just like, Maybe, <laughs> maybe when games were fun. Nintendo oh, yeah, maybe when you were too good at that. Yes, and the worst shaped controller Ever. The Goofiest the controller in the fucking yes. world. It did bring the analog stick, though. We put a in the worst possible no. position. So it could be the only way Remember? it could have been worse is if they put the analog Remember stick underneath. Time, oh. considering a home game They're pointing at the handle? Take with you? Oh, oh, yeah. Remember? So you could carry around your non-portable console that's, that's connected to your TV? So stupid. stupid. Remember that? Remember? I do remember that. Remember that? Remember the remote? Remember the Game Boy? Ah, yeah, the GameCube was nice. And the Wii U gamepad enabled you to play games off the TV. Uh, I suppose. Now, Nintendo Switch we skipped has over inherited the... oh, all I guess they of didn't Nintendo's the entertainment had DNA, and we have packed each and every one of these Where is Virtual Boy? into the system. <laughs> Peter says, look at his junk. New forms of entertainment. <laughs> oh, my God. World. And the oh, it's like he's working a diaper. In God, he's padding. Is Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> he's been working so hard in the lab he's just used to wearing a diaper okay, they don't let them out it's worse than Konami <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah stick it in there get in that dock mm. oh you see yeah it going in and out? oh yeah show that's the plug oh, get right in there oh yeah oh yeah rocket mm-hmm. use those nubs you connect it to the TV to play games Oh, you do connect to the TV play games. I was, I was concerned there. <laughs> yep, seen this. 
サジーもいけつよ。なんだ、カマゲンロー。なんか、のだるだんが、どどどんが、すだわ。金虫、かなす、かまつ。あめてらっしゃる、ママデボ。Are you putting your first train translating it in a gibberish? マテラ、ガムラ。ロダン。スイッチュアンドプレイ。
There are two buttons in the rail that connects the Joy-Con to the Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's got an L and R button. These are L and Interesting. R buttons. Those are tiny. Tiny. Those are for Japanese hands. Because of this design, each Joy-Con can be used like as a out fully functioning individual. Headlight on the Prius. You can hand a Joy-Con to the person next to you in many two-player games. Hmm. We call this sharing In many two-player games. So not all, huh? Oh, so, sharing the joy. Nintendo Switch comes with two controllers How cute. right from the start. <laughs> and when you play with these Joy-Con, they fit in the palm of your hand just right, like this. <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> that looks cool. small even for that guy's hands. And they which only is the size of a child. This after five years. <laughs> for example, pardon me. You can oh. release the tension from your shoulders and relax. <laughs> <laughs> He's really teaching us how to lie down on a couch. Yeah. That's all for my Joy-Con. I'm pretty sure this guy used to be a prostitute. <laughs> he was a gigoro? But <laughs> yeah. Still have many things I'm just a gigoro. Oh. And everywhere I go. Here we go. Oh, we oh. got a magician here. Oh, now he's David Brain. Oh, he's like that Korean Doctor Strange. I said David Brain. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I see. Color <gasps> oh! They took the colors! Oh my god! Fuck! Mind blown! Oh, snap, son. Oh. <laughs> we got full Adams Family action going on. You can slide onto the rail like this. Oh. Look at that, just like the Wii. L and R buttons for firm pressing. Wow. Why does that one look so much better than the... Oh, that's with the wrist strap? I see, so you can attach that to the Joy-Con. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering if they were going to keep any motion controls around, because that was their whole bit with the Wii. System, but there will also be so you can do Wii Sports on the go. Separately. Hmm. Right That's cool, so they will come with them. It's not a bad idea at all. That's a great idea. It's really idea. weird hearing us talk, them you. talk, right and then have an English uh, voiceover example, dub. It, can tell it is really fucking <laughs> 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 It's got a camera! And it can tell how far away the hand that threw it is. It can tell the difference between rock, paper, scissors. New control styles possible. Ew. What's this? Fancy. It feels like something shaking in a glass. Oh. Time for a drink. The Joy-Con can be able to Oh man, you know, like an eager ear trip. <laughs> now I'm thirsty. You can even tell. One, two, three. <laughs> John comments. They hung off his wrist like the workers off the side of the production plant after a two week shift. <laughs> This new sense of realism is produced by the position. I'm, this was, this John, I'm glad you decided to... I know, we were missing that. I'm, joy, I'm glad you decided to join us at least in, in text form in the comments section on the YouTube channel. <laughs> mm, refreshing. With these new sensing and vibration technologies... Oh yeah, he's got some real David Green oh. action going on. expressiveness that invites the player to pick up the controller. If you've got dandruff... It invites everyone to a new world of entertainment. Ooh. And it fits up Allow your butthole. Allow me to introduce you to two new games made possible by the Joy-Con. That's when the Joy really comes in and control. Challenge and replayability. First, let's switch to the game everyone can play together. Okay. Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> so John also says, so if he shakes you, so if you shake it, it brings you a drink. It's like a wife. <laughs> Is that Matthew oh, McConaughey? Corinta Eastwood. Oh. Corinta Eastwood. Ma Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. And hmm. Kurt Russell? Kurt Russell? All right, what's happening here? Gay sex is happening next. All right, got a cowboy it, here. Looks like a flash Corinth off. Eastwood. <laughs> and a big, big big fat guy with a giant beard. Gimli. Trembling the lips. 
And they're going to have a shootout here. John Rice Davies. All right. <laughs> John Rice Davies. McConaughey's non union stunt double. <laughs> oh, they, they unholstered their guns and fired. He's got some lip quivering action. Peter asked a good question. Oh. I wonder if they'll make a, a Switch XL. Those controllers are small. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, so now we can see that they are both oh. playing some kind of game and use a Joy-Con controller. Yeah, so they use the motion controller. To... Oh, now they're gay. Did you see that? They oh, wow. That's shirtless cowboys. <clears throat> So this is just encouraging people to shoot each other? Uh, it's here? like motion-activated stuff. Okay. Oh, they have to answer the phone as fast as possible? Hey, it's like WarioWare all over again. It's like WarioWare, but this time it's stupid looking. <laughs> I can't get over the, the shirt. Hello, the everyone. Sleeve this cowboy. I am Koichi Kamoto, the producer of 1-2-Switch. I am and awesome. I don't know how to get the... For <laughs> and I don't know what 1-2-Switch is. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get the cuffs under my control on my, on my jacket. <laughs> it's like his wrists are each little vampires. <laughs> but at the same time... With pop collars. It's a brand new kind of game. One that mixes up new kinds of play that haven't... Seriously, he couldn't get a comb through his hair before going on stage? Your typical video game has you playing while looking at... I think it's still in there, actually. Screen, right? <laughs> But one to switch can right. be played without looking at any screen. So then going to switch can be played without looking at any screen. In the eyes of your opponents, mm. you look directly into work? the eyes of your opponent to play the game. You look at the eyes of your opponents when you're playing. When so you don't look at the screen. Move? So you just paid three hundred dollars for it. <laughs> the controller hooks up to your speaking? eyes. You look into their You eyes stick the controller in your eye, so when your opponent's then looking at you, see them do it will show up unexpected. on the screen. Hmm. In other words, <laughs> oh my god, so we got these two hipsters doing finger guns. Screen. <sighs> it is a game that is primarily played through face to face interaction. So you can bring All right, I'm listening. parties and after parties indoors or <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's going to happen. Yellow is never a good color one. suit. <laughs> <laughs> It used to be white until he peed into the wind. Hand one to a friend. And just like that, <laughs> like Peter says, like, I can produce a switch, but not, not a great outfit. outfit. Everyone is ready for fun. <laughs> oh, really? We're at a, we're at a classy uh, club where we're going to bust out the switch. Everybody, okay, this video has proven Japanese people don't know how to party. <laughs> we, had, we had people at a dead Tanuki rave for like 40 minutes, and they were just sitting there bored out of their fucking mind. <laughs> they don't get partying. Thank you very much. If someone's not putting on like an what 80s was that? American cover band, that was they're one, lost. Two, Did you see this guy's yeah, bow? Did you see that together. thing? He like put his arms all the way back. Let's look at a game with depth, challenge, and replayability. He's like a drinking bird. A new gameplay experience is born. Let's switch to it. All right, let's switch to it. Okay, so we got Hitman coming out of the shadows. All right, let's switch to it. Switch. Da, 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 turn it over and kick mm. it. La, la, la. And here's a man walking towards us that likes to beat women. There's a woman walking towards us who likes to get beaten. Who looks like a little boy. Looks like a stereotypical transgendered male. Looking <laughs> dressed in a slutty schoolgirl outfit. A gender nonspecific male. Gender, <laughs> well. oh, now Are you ready, ready for a reach around? It's going to be some anime power. Oh, foxy. here we go. Oh, my gosh. Enemy, oh, Wolverine, Wolverine Claws. Aw, boo. Welcome, welcome Suckum Robots. Was, is this that uh, movie with, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Wolverine, what's his name? Logan? The, the actor. Oh, Omega Red. Real Steel? Oh. Real Steel. Oh, yeah. Is this Real Steel we're watching here? Yeah. <laughs> 
It's Rock'em <coughs> Sock'em Robots. Pretty much. With Splatoon Overwatch mm. graphics. <laughs> and John is requesting, please unleash a tentacle. <laughs> and I thought there'd be Mike asking for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that fighting game looks terrible. I mean, the graphics are good, but... Yeah, this looks it's like uh, practical. Felix the Cat called. He wants his punching bag back. So you can do long-distance boxing. I guess. Interesting concept, maybe? Oh, bring it up close and pow, p pussy punch. Bam! <laughs> oh, so, you see, so you see they got a Chris Brown mode. <laughs> he just walks right up to her and smacks with that face. A win, bitch. <laughs> Forget. I grab you by the pussy with my knuckles. Bam! <laughs> I'm gonna give you a full try. Uh. Bam! Arms. Arms? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's fucking pretty. He looks terrified. I'm mm. close this, guy's guy. fucking, this guy's terrified to be there. I'm He's the, the Japanese Moby. The Nintendo Switch game. <laughs> he looks like he got hit in the head with a hammer. Look at him. He's cross eyed. <laughs> He's not. He's not cross eyed. <laughs> oh, John, not again. He definitely, definitely has a gap between his legs, though. He's got that, that, that gap. <laughs> John says it's like, He's got like little no Splatoon. thigh. It's Street Fighter and Platoon and Down Syndrome. A farewell to arms. Hugh Jackman. Thank you, Peter. You hold one Joy-Con in each hand. In a thumbs up pose. Really, that oh. poor guy. He the looks like he's horrified to be there on stage. He does look terrified. I feel bad for him. Your character also. Punches. Would you want to be demoing this thing in front of all these people? <laughs> when you twist your fist, your punch curves. Here's how to box everybody. With this, you can pursue a distant enemy. You move your character by tilting. Is this so? Is this a Nintendo game? Arms. And by combining <laughs> I don't. I don't I'm think they're giving not. you a PlayStation game. <laughs> you can perform. A well, I didn't know if it was a third-party developer or something. <laughs> I don't think anyone because wants to touch this thing yet. Controls. Anyone arms. can pick it up and play right away. Oh my god! It's like freaking uh, ca Candy Crush. No, what was that? What was that game more, in uh, Wreck It Ralph? Oh, level oh game, uh, with Penelope Sweets. That was at least a racing candy, game. Now, candy Race or whatever. Candy Crush. No, yeah, I don't care about. Yeah, it looks like that right there, but like... A little bit. What's the sequel called? Legs? <laughs> Springman Ribbon Girl. Here are some of the characters. I'm just, wait, just going to wait until the eventual sequel, <laughs> Genitals. And, and they're just doing a pee-pee dance <laughs> while waiting for the fight to start. Yeah. In the face. It's a very In the fucking face! Fighting game. What was that the movie? In the fucking face! Mm. Hangover. You can garden this do, you think he, do you think he knows the way of the gun show? Because <laughs> of those guns he's got? You know what I mean? Uh, so it looks like the 80s are back. Or at least the phone cords are. You know, I thought we just talked about this game. Wasn't it called Sonic Blast Man? <laughs> That'd be great if he was a hidden character in that game. As you saw... <laughs> the most Falcon, a long distance punch. Is battling. Mm -hmm. You can battle alone against yeah, the, computer, the red screen. And you can play split screen against a friend, as you just saw. Mm -hmm. And? You can also Dude, you look like you could use a friend to talk you off that ledge. <laughs> Wish you could step off from that battle. ledge, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking John. The extendable arm fight game. <laughs> if it's legs, they can't have Chris Reeves in it. Well, that and he's dead. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, that, that he, he can't be in the one breathing either. Mm. Arms marks the emergence of Nintendo's newest characters. As you can see, mastering the Joy-Con controls can bring a new field. Nintendo's newest characters. Oh, you better not be investing anything in this. So far, I'm uh, sufficiently let down by the Switch already. Nobody even knows the name of any. Nobody knows the name of any of the Splatoon characters. Sugar yeah. Rush. Thanks, John. He finally said something helpful. Thank you, Sugar Rush. Oh, the Splatooniacs are back. They keep trying to make Splatoon this, like, big thing, but it's... 
it's, not. They're, all, they're all generic punks. Um, what was that um, Sega Dreamcast game that had uh, spray painted in? Jets. Um, Sunset Overdrive? No, Dreamcast. Oh, well, didn't Sunset Overdrive have something to do with spray paint? I don't know. I'm gonna look it up now. Because there's nothing interesting going on. Well, I'm watching Splatoon. <laughs> I thought it was Jet Rush. Oh, it's killing me now. Oh my god, these people are beating each other with paint. Guns. Jet Grind Radio. Jet Set Radio? Uh, I think Jet Set Radio was a sequel, I want to say. Oh my god, now they got... Pink, now they got pink clouds. Oh, Jet Set Radio titled Jet Grind Radio in the North first North American movies. Yeah, Jet Set Radio is good. Alright, what are we watching here now? Food trucks? Yeah. Splatoon 2 with a penis at the end. Oh, here we here's go. Your, Mario. Here's tentacle attack. I oh my god. The diligent researcher. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? It's the Japanese Dr. Octopus. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus. Dr. Squid. And today, I'm here to announce the fruits Dr. of my Dr. Tentacle. Doc- Dr. Okonomiyaki. It has been about two years since... No, wait, Takoyaki. That's the, uh, that's the octopus. And it seems there eat. have been many changes Oh, man. Nintendo's world. always so dorky when they do this kind Three of stuff. Four is there four on four team-based this guy is, like, holding the weapons in the game, dressed in a full, you know, uh, sport, white trench coat, wearing glasses at a press yeah. event. He's the Japanese Dr. Octopus. No, please tell me he's going to actually shoot the people in suits with paint. That would be fucking great. Not They're totally not expecting it. Weapons, yeah. Let you shoot They're not. Each hand. Also <laughs> the Japanese version of American Psycho. Did I ever tell you about Huey Lewis? And it the <laughs> that music is so good. After in with ink, now many people think sports is the predominant album, but you should hear some of the other stuff. New weapons, <laughs> all new special <laughs> weapons and new battle stages. <laughs> we will see the emergence of new battle strategies. All right. I'm going to have to get another beer. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's up to me. Allow me to report briefly on controls. Okay, so Huey course, Ruiz is about to report the on the controllers. controllers. But you can also play using the Pro Controller. You can play on a TV screen, and you can also play in handheld mode. You got the and Pro course, Controller, in mode, you the handheld, use controls to aim your ink. and the other thing, you can use your gyros to you aim the ink. press the X button to view the map. And to do a super jump, <laughs> press the button you, John. assigned to a teammate to instantly jump there. Of course, okay, you so, can battle yeah. against so now we're, friends and people you Now we're getting in a, a manual for, and for the Splatoon controls. You can also bring your games and Nintendo Switch oh, right, I'm back. What I miss? Network play and local multiplayer. You missed oh. absolutely fuck that is all. From the so I've learned so he, that he now telling, that uh, he was Peter... telling us how to play Splatoon. Oh, great. Peter is drinking Dos Equis. I have to ask Peter, is that Dos Equis Lager or Dos Equis Amber? Is <laughs> plan for long. It's the penis Split logo. Splatoon with a penis. <laughs> That's what I'm looking again, at. This time, there will Eyeballs on it too. And weapon updates after launch. <laughs> and there are also plans to hold ongoing... So what's this, what's this night? Wait, okay, what's... Hold on. Do you see that in there? Coming 2017 summer? Yeah. To once again enjoy it's not even a freaking launch title. With That's a porn all title. The world. <laughs> <laughs> Coming. Splatoon 2017 two. summer. Are oh, you ready for Still, the summer? Are oh, you ready for the time? Why does this guy keep doing the, uh, the squid research lager? Continue to share oh, we get the, the lager? Okay. We discover them. I like the lager, but I'm a bigger fan of the today. amber myself. Can't deny it. <laughs> John says it's like Nintendo didn't get the memo that esports isn't shooters and isn't console anymore. Yeah, why isn't it a launch title? 
Next. What's coming out on March 3rd? To this. Da, 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 da. <sighs> now, Crazy we have some time talking about a game that's not coming out to the summer. When you should be talking about what's coming out at March 3rd. All right, we got here. Crazy Taxi. Spider-Man? Three. There was oh, a two. Please tell me. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure there was. Super oh, Mario. Mario. Taxi. Mario. Super Mario Taxi. Crazy Mario like. Taxi. I would do that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's console running. All right. <clears throat> so we got Mario running around streets in New York City here, I'm guessing, or Tokyo. Having, having Mario in an actual city is, would be the first thing... Oh my god, it's Assassin's Creed Mario. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Mario. <laughs> he just like jumps down and stabs somebody. Who, who, who do you work who do you work for? It's a me, Mario. Asquiescim Pache. There you go. Quattro for Machi. Spaghetti Marnaro Asquiescim Pache. Woohoo! <laughs> Wahoo! Pakistan! The idea of Mario in a fucking city. It's about time. I didn't love there was a whole lot to do in there, I gotta be honest with you. So it is a Super Mario Earth? There's nothing for him to... Oh, no, oh he's shivering. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. weird. He's interacting oh, no, he's with, like, <laughs> real no, humanoids. taking a power deuce. Rock out the boom boombox, like that. Oh, my God. Beautiful Mario looking. And... I gotta say, his game is beautiful Mario looking. Mario in actual environments. Oh, my God, Bowser's a pimp. <laughs> oh, that's the storyline. That's what he's in his he wedding suit. His fucking hat. That was the storyline when he has when he's getting married to Peach. Yeah, he was in a wedding suit. Look at Mario. He's using his fucking hat like a weapon and a platform. Oh, he can ride this a looks dog. Fantastic. This does look pretty good, actually. This is a this is a game to this is the game to get. All right, Bowser and Peach a royal wedding. See, it is. Oh, the, he's it is a story. His hat. This is the uh -oh. fucking end. This is the oh, this chapter. End? Oh, Splatoon Bowser. <laughs> oh, shit. Kingdom Hearts. Shit just got real. Kingdom Hearts Mario. <laughs> I want to say Michael Bay Transformers Mario. Oh, my God. You see Mario's mustache? You Super see Mario see, like, Odyssey. Hairs in it. Look at Mario's mustache. You can see, like, the hairs. Can you? Yeah. Hmm. The hat's alive. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Oh. His hat's alive. Interesting. Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey. This looks fucking fantastic. It does look pretty Hello, good. Hello, everyone. Tell me that's Sorry, coming out of launch. I am Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey. While I am the overall producer for the Nintendo Switch hardware, I simultaneously All right, finally have a gamer hand in the newest Mario <sighs> game, Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Pimp. This is the first time since Super Mario 64. And <laughs> Super Mario John says, just blew my load. Sandbox world like this <laughs> it does look fucking Mario. amazing. Take my money! Take the my money! Shut up and take my money! To an unknown world, and Mario has jumped out of the Mushroom Kingdom to go on an extraordinary adventure. He finally some returns unknown, to New York. But perhaps you notice some landscapes <laughs> that look familiar from the real world. <laughs> he pops into uh, to a to a living room. And <laughs> looks to his right, video, sees John Leguizamo. Looks to his left, sees a dead rotting corpse. <laughs> Bob Hoskins. <laughs> right uh oh. This mysterious ah, let's go! Finally, I can come back! ...to be experienced on Nintendo Switch. This Cap character plays an important role in Mario's journey. I hope you'll look forward to it. He takes him to the real world. In the oh 20 my god, years Mario in New York. Mario 64, well, people Mario start being nice, his way back and people Mario. start being long, long real. Journey ...together with Mario. And we are working on this new journey called Nintendo Switch. With the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. Do you think this will be backwards be compatible with the Wii U? You can all join me in I hope not. This new Mario on I'd Nintendo like to see the Switch. Wii U just fucking die and let the Switch take over. Yeah, pretty much. Super Mario Odyssey in the holiday season later this year. Oh yeah, my Mar god, are you oh kidding me? The is Mario's coming out. They're not coming, coming out with this at launch. I haven't heard one game that's coming out so launch. I hope to offer you a chance to try it and out. And I've been on been arms. So please wait a little longer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Know, They're not even arm, offering it for demo. Arms looks Unbelievable. Like it, arms looks like it's not a launch title, but like a built-in homebrew, like a built-in title. I don't understand why they're releasing this thing in March if they're not even going to have games ready until the fall. I'm going to Elysium for you. With my skinny uh, ass. What is this? Star Ocean. <laughs> and, my nice, glow, nice, and my glow backpack. Nice thighs. 
I'm not gonna let you stand in her way. I have a wolf to ride, because I'm a fucking boss. Oh, airship to airship. And Peter is speechless about the release date for Mario. <laughs> you John want me says, to your console? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peter says, <laughs> what a waste to load, John. John says, this is how I'd not buy your console. And this is why I wait <laughs> until it goes down to $200 plus the game. This looks like it must be like some Final Fantasy Switch. This Fire Emblem? Sweet. Fire Emblem? Fire em- what do you bet? Fire Emblem? Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's their own title, right? Fire Emblem Switchings. So far, we've seen only um, pre-rendered cutscenes, Nintendo games, and horribly impractical clothing and armor. <laughs> what is with the thigh design? Well, he wants to show off his legs, yet protect them at the same time. <laughs> I see. Which is fucking idiotic. And Sin is eating a tree. Sin from Final Fantasy X. Now we're falling asleep. Xenoblade! Xenoblade. Two. <gasps> Two. I like it. I like the first Xenoblade. That was for PlayStation, right? No, PlayStation it was for uh, Wii. Was it? Yep. Yeah, and then they did a remake of? of it. No, not a Xeno remake. Gears. A game called Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm thinking of Xenogears. For the Gears. Uh, Wii U, or was it the 3DS? Ah, from the creators of Dynasty Warriors comes, let me guess, Mario Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> King Mushroom Kingdom Warriors. Zelda Mushroom Dynasty Kingdom Warriors. Dynasty. Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Dynasty Warriors. That is an expensive looking shield. That's a Pokemon, isn't it? I know that's worth in the thrift store. A Japanese logo. Hooray! X. What are we looking at? Oh, yeah. Check out my throbbing sword. (laughs) This is a fire emblem. Yep. Grip it by the hilt. You think so? What you just saw was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And Koei Tecmo's latest game, Dragon Fire Ball Emblem Pikmin. <laughs> Next, I'd like yeah, to Fire Emblem Warriors. So it's the same thing as Dynasty Warriors, just with Fire Emblem characters. The Nintendo Switch concept has resonated with many developers, which is a great, is fun, fun game concept. But you know, and it's not going to sell me on a system. There are already over eighty games in development. In development. <laughs> and none of real, and none like ready. And how many of them are real? Just a few of them, okay. Yeah. Square Enix yeah. has How many of them are they actually, actually available? Dragon Quest what do you mean about the next game they show is Zelda? Hey, we got Zelda. Dragon Quest XI for release on Nintendo Switch in Japan. Dragon Quest X. Mm. And XI. Uh, there is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 so and 2. Definitely got the Japanese Switch. RPG market. Slash action RPG market. Now, take a look at cornered. this. Oh yeah, I'm happy. I'm hard. I'm good. I'm, I'm sure you are. We're taking a look at it. All right. Last of Us. Atlas. Hmm. Interesting. I thought they shuttered. Atlas. Oh, the same people that made the uh, the Japanese child soldier game. Yes. Indeed. So we just saw a pentagram, the number, the mark of the beast. So this is a game about befriending Satan, apparently. It's good. It's powered by Unreal Engine. It means a lot of games that use that can be ported over to the Switch. Ah, uh, we have the rose petals, of course. Uh, these fuckers don't know how to rave. <laughs> Yeah, Look at them, just shadowy figures gyrating. <gasps> oh my god, Devil Survivor! Who? This is the game I've been playing on my Game Boy. With the uh, soldiers? No! The kid soldiers? The baby soldiers? <laughs> this is the better one. <laughs> the good one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is uh, Shin Megami. Shin- like Shin- Vision and Thor had a baby. Yeah, Devil Survivor. Those are the monsters from okay. Devil Survivor. I'm playing Devil Survivor 2. 
on my Game Boy, and it looks fucking and it's fucking great. So to see these monsters in a in a home console, it's pretty neat. Mm. I'm starting to feel a second beer. I'm almost finished with it. What does money it a third to play your role? Oh, Squeenix! Oh, Squeenix! Squeenix. Let's see here. Oh, is this Dragon Quest? The the places you go. Oh, huh? It's like a paper cutout thing. The deeds you do. It's two point five D. It's Paper Dragon Warrior. Paper Dragon Warrior. Whose tales you bring to life? Every no, oh, this, this is like Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy Tactics. Ta- yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics. I think. Project. You think so? Octopath Traveler. Oh, what a terrible the name, Lord Octopath Lord. Traveler. Oh my God, Octopath Traveler. What you just saw was the latest game in the Atlas series, Shin Megami Tensei, which celebrates its 25th mm. anniversary this year. Never heard of it. Shin Megami Tensei, they're the guys behind begun, Persona, if you've heard of it. But they were kind enough to Barely. prepare this video for us today. I've not played the uh, Persona games. The other title I've downloaded them. Brand new I'm RPG going to play them one of these years. Phoenix. But uh, I'm really enjoying Shin Megami Tensei. It boasts a unique graphic style and sense or, uh, of scale. I just Please beat look one to additional information for the game. The for the game, for the Tentacle game is the title, says John. Let's hear from some of the developers <laughs> working on new games. Tentacle is in the title. Switch. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> to start, let's All right, switch who are we hearing from now? Individual. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> it's Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh, Sinead O'Connor just called. She yeah, wants her plastic so surgery back. Oh my, oh my god, this guy like had more such plastic surgery to get his eyes even closer Very shut. Hello, Rittle Man. Since a new kind Can't of even see? This game hardware. When I oh ran, my god. In, when I ran an internment camp, I watched a man stick a watch <laughs> in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? what is, oh, why would he have run an internment is, camp? Taking on I don't know, like promotion? <laughs> really good behavior? <laughs> Why does he have a key uh, around his neck? Of this new what? And create, uh, an exce- an interesting game what is he opening with today. it? Oh, he's opening one of those, like, chastity uh, locks <laughs> where you put, like, your, your penis in a cock cage or something, right? <laughs> oh, my God, we got a round up. Oh, finally. It's coming to the Nintendo Switch. It's the poor man's Skyrim. Michael Bay. Skyrim is coming. Yay, a game that's like, what, three years old? We love to make games and worlds that you can get lost in. <laughs> we love to make games that you already played before. We love to port our old games over to new systems so we can make money for very little effort. Now you can buy the same game again. Isn't that lovely? Also, you can have no mod support. <laughs> Exciting is for all of us Initial release saw, was 2011. Just, That's right, six years old. I just saw penises on the bridge. Over the <laughs> of course so you did. And fun all well, all these stone pillars all look the same. All right, it's time for another beer. Way back. <laughs> so we have the Thomas the Train engine mods. For letting us be a part. <laughs> Thank you, Todd San. Next. Thank you, John. <laughs> Switch to this person. Yeah! Yeah! Hey. Oh, it's oh, Suda51. Hi, everyone. I'm Suda51 from Grasshopper. Oh, he's from Glasshopper Studios. Okay. So, today I'd like to start. Um, I've, I've been invited to come to this event and I'd like to talk about uh, one of the games that I worked on. Do you, you know, this is the first guy's haircut that I actually like. Was born out of yeah, that's Suda51 from Glasshopper Studio. That's right. This is the first guy that actually looks normal. Yeah, that's because it's Suda51. That guy's like a fucking maniac. Could you show the, uh, He's a ma- this guy's the maniac? Yeah, that's Suda51. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, No More Heroes is coming back. Coming on to oh, yeah, I never got to play that. Was that any good? Yeah, it's f- both those games were fucking great. I'd already but, sold my Wii by that point. Dude, uh, emulate it. About a year ago. <laughs> emulate it. Get Dolphin. Get Dolphin. I've been going to play, play some events. Play No More Heroes. Those two games okay. are great. And 
I've been discussing with exchanging ideas with <laughs> John said he called his company Grasshopper and can't even pronounce it. <laughs> I told I said it was Glasshopper Studio. About, uh, Glasshopper ideas Studio. For <laughs> Nintendo Switch console. And I've heard that it's uh, <laughs> Do you ever see that uh, music video? I've heard that it's with those easier, with those uh, Japanese guys with the leaves. Uh, they were all nude for, except for like a leaf on their crotch. Oh yeah, yeah, da, yeah, da, 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 Whoever's translating this is like doing this while half asleep. Um, yeah, well, I've and here I've made a game and I've translating something for this man on stage. John says he's wearing a T-shirt with a tux jacket. I think it's pretty hot. I think it's a hot look. So does the fucking man. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we're back to. Uh, Thank you, Sudasan. <laughs> Next, <laughs> switch. Vladimir like, Chen. You know, what, you know what he looks like? With it's his face all stretched out and wrinkly like that, he looks like an Asian James Brown. And talented team at Electronic Arts. For mm. me, oh look, we got Bill Nye, the Science Round Eye. We have Dick Nowitzki's Nowitzki's older, smarter brother. <laughs> For as long as I've played games, I've been a massive fan of the Nintendo platforms and amazing uh, What's his name? Elon Musk. <laughs> so much so that when my first born son was born, my wife and I gave him the middle name Luigi. He gave his son the middle name of Luigi. Aww. It's better, <laughs> better than Nick Cage naming his fucking son Kalel. Better than Caillou. I wonder how Kalel Cage is doing. <laughs> that, that, that dude is Peter tall. Peter says that dude is tall. He's probably like really like 5'2". Yeah, he's like 5'10", okay? okay? It's Japan. Yeah. I don't think they made doorways that tall there. <laughs> the ducker, here he goes. <laughs> John says... He's like a Japanese person on the shoulders of another. <laughs> He's two Japanese guys in, in an American suit. <laughs> I need to see more white face. That's a good call. I can't believe they got a white translator. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they went all out. They're like, never mind this native translator business. We got our own guy. Play anywhere. Play with anyone. He's from Iowa. <laughs> He's eating sushi at three restaurants. Right. <laughs> Sounds legit, though. At the park, at your house, or on it, it sounded legit right. until he mentioned FIFA. <laughs> Why? Why are they doing so much talking about FIFA instead of actually showing us the game? Because they're trying to convince you this time we got rid of all the corruption. All with the unmatched authenticity and depth that FIFA is known for. Authenticity in FIFA, huh? <laughs> I told you they had to spend all this time convincing you. Look, we got rid of all the corruption. The licenses are legit. People are being paid. Right. But the fucking translator is legit. Mm-hmm. We think so, at least. We have no idea what he's saying in Japanese. He could be totally misconstruing it. <laughs> he's telling everybody, okay, the meeting will be over. We're going to get rid of the scary giant. It's going to be okay. <laughs> he says he will not call on Godzilla today. Bless you all. <laughs> the Emperor Thank you is very great. Much to Patrick and all of our guests. We are very excited for Skyrim and FIFA and are very excited to see what kind of new games Nagoshi san and Why is this guy's lighting? Oh, finally, they lit his face up. 
I'm like and watching again, it. Every single James time they show this guy, and like, again, they don't light his face. He's Asian James Brown. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I saw Sonic on there for a brief half second. Oh, there's Sonic. And Minecraft. Man, Mario in New York. That's cool. It's about time. Oh, it looks weird. He's like interacting with like. And he's a fucking scary dwarf. Realish people. Everyone yeah. else is like regular height, and he realizes. I'm not. I'm not worried about the New York City thing or the city thing. Look, we all know Mario's from right. New York, so if he's got going to real world, he's got to go to New York. All right, what's the scene here? What is that? Oh, Dragon Warrior. I mean, uh, Dragon Ball. I think Lego, Dragon Ball. Some Lego, Dragon Ball. Xeno, Xenoblade. Cows. Uh, Goat Simulator, I think. No. Skyrim. Mammoth. Link. Sonic. Sonic. Sonic another. Boom. Another Sonic game that'll suck. Let's dance. Let's pay too much for micro. Let's pay too much for microtransactions. Let's not pay enough for generic music. Oh, we got the gay cowboys again. <laughs> I wish I knew how to quit you! <laughs> oh, four player Tetris. We got two shapes humping each other. Oh, what is that? Was that. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah, that looked like oh, a. Oh, was this F Zero? Colossus type eco type game. Yeah, it looked like Ico or some, something like that. And we had. Uh, there we go, Mario Kart. That'll actually be the one that's selling me on the console, if anything. Oh, shit. Kart. Disco Rainbow Road. I just saw Rainbow Road. Oh, I felt it move, Mike. Your, Mike, your I felt dick? It. Yeah. What did you think? <laughs> I felt it move when I saw Rainbow Road. It As twitched. Saw, it twitched a little bit. preparing to offer a rich assortment of games, both from Nintendo and a number of third-party parties. Oh. And I will return to my coffin immediately. <laughs> Today, you heard from some of these developers, but there are still many others working hard inside yes. Nintendo to develop. Nintendo is working hard content. to not deliver you games on March third. In addition to the franchises our fans have loved, we will also introduce the world to new forms of entertainment made possible by the unique new forms of entertainment of the Nintendo Switch hardware, including and the anal controllers. <laughs> <laughs> Since we revealed new colors of Joy-Con during this presentation, allow me to share with you our Nintendo Switch product configurations. <laughs> and of course, the fifth type of configuration, butt the plug. Nintendo Switch system will include... <laughs> you just <laughs> insert the Joy-Con into your rectum. A left and a right Joy-Con. <laughs> Joy-Con wrist straps. The Joy -Con That's kind of nice. The wrist straps. <laughs> The Joy-Con strap-on. The Nintendo yep. Switch dock. The holster. An HDMI cable. Get the dock, of course. Oh, it and comes with HDMI cable. HDMI Nobody else does that these days. The Pro no, Controller will also be And two controllers. Separately. That's nice. There will be two yeah, I figured the Pro one be separate. One that's just an interesting design. Gray Joy -Con controllers, and another model with one neon blue and one neon red Joy-Con. Both versions. Ah, the so you get the USA version. Retail price. <laughs> or the uh, slight gray version. We have shared a great deal of information with you through this presentation. And more details <laughs> I wouldn't call it a great deal. On our Nintendo Switch homepage after this presentation ends. Really? And I just throw well, my cape over first, my body and turn into a swarm like of bats. Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America to share their messages <laughs> with their fans watching around the globe. Take yep. it away. Oh. Nintendo of, Europe. Nintendo of Europe. Good morning, everybody in Europe. I'd like to thank you for getting up so early to watch. Oh my god, he's so, so fucking Japanese. Why well, is only one eye squinty? <laughs> one eye is squintier. Oh, I see. And he's like, and I would like to thank you. Oh my god, this guy's a perfect <laughs> South Park parody. Oh, right poor guy. This guy's like William Hung. He's like super Asian. Media to play Switch for the first time. <laughs> he looks French. <laughs> he's been in Europe too long. I know that. Lots of you will be wondering when you can get your hands on Nintendo Switch to try it out. 
in the coming months, are we going to see anything more of this presentation or are we just looking at this guy the whole time <laughs> oh my gosh you can have your he looks like the guy that would be at a club that's too old to be at the club but he doesn't know it <laughs> <laughs> on <our official> <laughs> Look at me, I'm hip with the kids. I'm sure that I can pop and lock it. So I can pop and rock. You there you go, soon. pop and rock it. Now I will hand you over to Reggie in New York. Thanks for Yay, Reggie. Happy gaming. Come on, get out of here, buddy. Thanks, Shabbat-a-san, and hi to everyone watching in the Americas. It's the there's no way America. this was shot live. The streets are quiet, but there's definitely something in the air. Yeah. He definitely shot this way earlier today. Look at him. He looks well rested. It's not midnight. He looks really wrinkly. What's that on his lip? He's not got great skin. I'll give you that. The guy is a you know the guy is a real gamer though you know and it shows. <laughs> he got that injury. He got that injury the first time he walked out in natural sunlight. <laughs> he spent years in his mother's basement to prepare for this job. <laughs> He was he was he originally looked like Nat King Cole, but years in the basement have just paled him. A little too much makeup though, trying to hide some of his uh the places where he popped too many zits as a kid. <laughs> you mean his seal face? I expect him to start singing Kiss by a Rose on the Grave. <laughs> John <laughs> <laughs> John says Reggie's balls deep in a hooker right now. <laughs> Giving her his joy con. But let's be honest. One thing is missing. But if you listen carefully, maybe you can hear it. Float <laughs> in the air. Hey, listen. Is that what's missing? The soundtrack hey, listen. has been far and away the most anticipated Nintendo Switch game right from the start. Legend of Zelda. Oh, uh, Zelda. So, where is it? Well, Did he say launch game? Here at a special event elsewhere in New York tomorrow. Oh, Since tomorrow. Yeah, I love what that a nice Mario teaser. Pena. This presentation. So let's go over there and see what these guys. Is he starting to get a bald spot on the top there? Mr. Miyamoto. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, you gonna? You're playing the new Legend of Zelda game. And she, Miyamoto looks the same age oh, that he did like 20 years ago. <laughs> well, it helps, if, it, it helps if at your best, you, it's like Patrick Stewart syndrome. If you look 70 when you're 40, by the time you're 70, you're going to look 40. That's great, you know? It's great skill. Oh, shit. All these years caught up with him. Who are you? I'm you from the future. That's a Freedom 55 commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I have a goatee in the future? I didn't know I could grow here there. I'm your evil twin. Do you have the answer to that? It prints money. Reggie san. And now Anuma san. That's what they're hoping anyways. <laughs> You've left me with a very important task. But to go back to the to the shareholders and beg their forgiveness before and then committing hotty cutty and then does myself in gasoline. I must as as is tradition. I must sacrifice myself to the Nintendo shareholders for this successful launch to occur. In Japan, starting January 21st. <laughs> Sean has pulled out a great uh, quote from uh, VHX. Surprise! <laughs> now, we do have one last thing to share with you today. Oh, one last thing. Before We've we resurrected do, Steve Jobs for this event. Sincerely thank everyone here for you will never, ever get a virus on your Wii Switch. On your Wii Switch. <laughs> You're right. And bow. Okay. Wave race switch. Hmm. Pilot wing switch. Kingdom or is this more Zelda? Still thinking of Zelda. Mini, I, thought it, I thought it was too many beached whales. 
<laughs> Everything has this like creamy look on the system. Oh fuck, tangle! Like Please tell me that's not tangle. <gasps> okay, it is Zelda. All what right. was this one more thing? We knew this Full game was mast. coming out. Full mast. Full mast. Full mast. My God, oh. it's massive. <laughs> And the world's big, too. Why does everybody talk about Link being a, the first open UHF, game? my bad. O- Ocarina of Time had an open world you could explore. It, the problem is the whole open world is boring. Look, there's nothing to do. Hooray! Uh, it was a, pretty. There's one tower. And then there's that. Ain't no Witcher 3, it's all I'm saying. Oh shit, Ganon's starting it. Ganon's starting it. <laughs> and now it's up to you to kill everything in the world to make <laughs> the world again. Dead tree you walked into in the first level of your first game. Oh shit, Hello. Zelda new bathing. Naked Zelda. It's about damn time. I felt it move, Mike. Oh, it just subsided. She looks very young. Oh shit, <laughs> just John, it got harder probably. Who wants to drink from the fire hose? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to turn on the fire hose? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Pretty. Oh, great. Now Link is teaming up with Pokemon. Very animated. Ooh, Link is showing some pain. And when is that coming out? What games are going to be out March 3rd? <laughs> Peter says, I'm saving my load until they show the release date. <laughs> March 3rd! It's a fucking release! It's a launch! Yay! M- launch title. It's a launch title, yes! One game confirmed for launch. Yeah! One game. So if you want to play Zelda, uh, you can play it at launch. Everything is going to get released on March 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> Presentation is concluded. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to see if I can interact with this business. Let's see here if I can get in there. Interact. Okay. Uh, how do I get back to the page here? Visit sites. He's going to tell us more. They said go to the website right after the presentation. Okay, Reggie. So, I guess I guess I just delete the switch and just go to Nintendo. Um. Wow. That page died very quickly. <laughs> oh, it's back and it's the same page. Yep. Yeah, and there's us down in the audience. Uh, that's it. It looks like events. Oh, hello. Something happened. Yeah, what's all this flipper jabber? I don't know what's happening. Well, I think I'm going to switch over to our regular logo here. And uh, we'll have to conclude. So, thoughts, Mike. What are your thoughts after watching all of that? Uh, it, it looks like it's going to be fucking great. They got a console that's portable and home powered and the, they're releasing the only game that we want. The only game we want. You don't want the Mario game? 
at launch? Uh, well, at least we'll be able to play Zelda while waiting for it. True. This is, I mean, so. my issue is like the, the the same issue I had with the Wii launch was they came up with like one or two good games, like Wii Sports, and then nothing. And then you maybe the got one massive, thing in the summer. With a game this massive, it'll keep you occupied for a while, though. True, I mean, but it's not like you get... Within the first two days. You need at least like a dozen games these days on launch to really like, you know, have well, any kind of impact. Because you're not going to have something hey, for everyone at this point. If you're tired of playing all the uh, all the Zelda, then you could always like keep the keep the pace going with arms. <laughs> what? <laughs> you keep the pace going with arms? <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, I I mean I, I don't feel like it's a great launch lineup um, from what they just showed, and I think that's going to be their biggest problem. Uh, and I think a lot of people were hoping for it to be two hundred fifty dollars instead of three hundred. I think they made a good sell on the fact that uh, it's got two controllers in it, from what I saw, um, and it's got the straps in it, which make the um, L and R buttons bigger and obviously strapped to your hands. Um, and, it, and it's great for like keeping the blood in your dick. You can just like tighten the <laughs> noose and keep that blood from escaping. Lovely. Maybe that's what the key was for on like on the one guy's shirt. That like way I you said. can step, that way you can stay hard. Yeah, I think they're gonna I think they're gonna have issues with um uh the launch lineup. Again, because they really haven't shown anything from what's what's launching aside from maybe that ARMS game and uh, Zelda. That's pretty much it. So unless they've got more launch titles up their sleeve, they're going to show off tomorrow. Like, I don't know what's going to be out there for people to play. You know, Zelda isn't a game that for everybody. To be honest, it's not a Mario. Uh, it's not a sports title. It's not a pick up and play, you know, game. Well, it's multiplayer on it. They didn't say anything about what Mario Kart was coming out. For instance, which would have been a great multiplayer game, you know, they didn't talk about when FIFA was coming out. They just said Splatoon's coming in the summer, and then Mario's coming in the fall. So I think that's going to be their issue is is getting games put out for this. I think there is excitement among developers, but um, I think that's going to be their main issue coming out of the gate with this thing. So I don't know. What are your thoughts around the March release, right? As opposed to holding off until fall. Well, I was looking forward to getting a PlayStation 4, but now, fuck. I mean, I just might get this. This looks some, this looks this looks tits. For the for the one game? Um, well, I'm I'm cheap as fuck, and with my other video games that I'm renting and mm-hmm. playing, this will last me. I see. So, I'll be fine until the next until the next uh until Mario in the Big Apple comes out. I still think you're better off getting a PS4 because you can get one for 300 bucks now and there's tons of titles you can get that are fantastic that are well below, you know, MSRP. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's my recommendation for you, sir. I think I will then get myself the PlayStation 4 and then <laughs> next year I'm going to get me a Switch for my There you go. Day. There That'll you be go. The next birthday present. I guess the way to go is to hold off until titles. they have more more titles available, and yeah. I'll be able to rent those titles, so I don't have to buy them. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a renter. I'm a person that, likes the, that will buy them, but I will like buy them when they're seriously on sale, and then I have like a backlog, you know, of games that I play. Well, I'd like to thank both of our listeners, one of which is a host for the fucking show. Yep, and he already left. <laughs> thanks John for tuning in and leaving but and thanks, thanks for showing up out. yes and uh, thank you Peter for showing up this is our one actual listener woo um, I think it was a success Mike I think we actually did it did it work this thing work here yeah I think it did and, okay uh, we can record it put it up on our YouTube channel so that people can people who had better things to do yes assholes they can they can and, watch it at a later time yeah. And we're going to put out a podcast version of this as well. Yeah. So uh, we'll have the combined audio from Mike and myself and, uh, of course, the uh, um, 
video feed out there for you guys to listen to. Yeah, well, uh, I think we could like we could cover a a post presentation one when John is better, mm-hmm. and that way he can weigh in on it. Yeah, love to hear his thoughts on it. All right, and well, when they don't sound like yeah, so um, <coughs> yeah, I really like that. Oh, oh, hold on a second, gotta go puke. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the Zelda game. <coughs> it, the Zelda game looked really good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, again, thanks for listening. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm Ben. I'm Mike. And now you're playing with power. Please don't sue us. Amen to that. <laughs>